pretty sweet view. And look at this, the finishes are absolutely amazing. And there's a pool, this is like living in a hotel. The best thing about this building, it's all rent stabilized. Rent stabilized. Rent stabilized. Rent stabilized! that subway door a little hard but we are in the Bronx 10 minute walk from the train not bad and this is a four or five stop we're over here and we got to get ourselves over here to where the apartment is should have a pretty good view since it's on the water now not only can you save money on today's apartment but there's a Dollar Tree so you can save money on everything else and by the time you move in this Popeye should be finished that's gonna matter to someone and that someone is me the gas might also be cheaper here look at that and we got the number six and we got ourselves a few city bikes Transit here is very good. So the area we're in now is called Mott Haven. It's like this southern Bronx neighborhood. Lots of local businesses up here. This place looks awesome. There's also a line of people inside. And whenever you see an old faded menu, you know the food is doing all the talking. Got another discount store, more Mexican, massive grocery store, takes up like the entire corner. Convenient part of town for sure. Yes, we're uptown, but all the stores you'd expect to see are here, including multiple flower shops. Now, I haven't been here myself, but I was told the Motley Kitchen is amazing. Great coffee, great brunch. And there's a lot of places like this if you know where to look. I'd go right now, but we have an apartment to see. We're just around the corner from the apartment and there's like this whole little area with store after store after store. This one is a bookstore. This here be a Thai place. Or is it a ramen place? Sushi, noodles, Asian fusion. I give up. And then we have the Hudson Smokehouse. And since it has the word house in the name, think of an apartment full of food. Bruckner Boulevard. The apartment is like right there. So this is your immediate street corner. Got some seriously cool looking artwork here. And a gelato place. And there's a Thinkubator, I'm not sure what that is, but the sign does say it's a cafe. And then we have this insane looking Chevy Nova that's still on the road somehow. Kinda rusty, but just like window tint and an obnoxious spoiler makes a Honda Civic go faster, rust makes these go faster. There's also a furniture store, all these flowers. This is your local bistro. Private events at the lacquer room. Birthday party, anyone? There's also a random ice machine with a cone just like out here. With with no surrounding business. The closest one is this pizza place. Best pizza in town. Let's be real if these pictures are accurate. That statement certainly could be. So that's building 26. We need building 25, but all I see is movers. It could be convenient if you move into where the movers park. 27, we're getting close. This looks like a pretty cool place. In fact, guessing from this tape and the way this looks, it might be a brand new building. I didn't do any research, so I don't know what we're about to see. All right, so we have a problem, James. This place is making me feel poor. Should I feel poor in here? Don't worry about the money. The units are widely affordable. Doorman building too. Nice, we got a gym, super nice. Look at all this fancy schmancy equipment. This is great, you could just dump your kids in here or your adult children and then watch them from the treadmill. Uh, this gym also comes with a yoga room slash stretching room and we also have our free weights, deadlifts and free dumbbells. James, the last building you showed me had a pool. We just love swimming out here. <laughs> it's so rare to find a pool in New York. So this is our lounger, we got a pool table, chest table, and upstairs we also have a barbecue station. Wow, you weren't kidding. This is like living in a park or something. Look at all this stuff you can do here. Grills in the corner. And from this deck, we could see another deck. Pretty sweet. This building is called a clock tower. The black building is called a crescendo. The black building is a newer type of building. The red building, the tower, is actually a loft style building. But this is all the same place. All the same place, best of both worlds, and both places can use the amenities. Ooh. 
All right, as it turns out, this is not actually a swing. Whoa, it's actually really warm in there. That makes sense, it's a sauna. You guys decided to build a spa instead of an apartment building. Every floor has a laundry room besides the first floor. Best thing about washing your dog over here is you don't have to wash your dog in your own apartment, which gets it full of hair and full of dirt. Also, if your crazy uncle comes over and the same thing happens when he uses your shower, you can bring him down here. They've got Tesla chargers. You can feel good about saving the world while you park your car here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's Manhattan right over there. And then we have the rest of Mott Haven. And that is a water tower. Is there furniture that comes up here? In the summertime, we do have a lot of furniture that comes up here. Very nice. So the building is split up into two. There's six floors for each side of the building. Okay. I'd say there's around 150 units in total. 150 units, wow, okay. Ooh. Dude, this is dope. Yeah, you have the, you can see the whole interior of the building. Nice. Courtyard. What's the rent? 3100. And it's a one bedroom. It's a one bedroom. So we're gonna see a few places in this building, but this is a good starting point because it's on the cheaper side of most of what's here. And the balcony here, this is really big and usable. Check out the neighbors, they got a table and chairs. Definitely functional enough for you to get about that. This looks really comfortable. A couple reading lounge chairs. So many luxury apartments have small, useless balconies, but that's definitely not what this was designed to be. Not at all. View's incredible too. Very good living room, 18 and a half by 14. Lights look cool, obviously it's bright. I would put bar stools over here next to the kitchen counter, couch along the wall, and then my TV up on the wall over here. So underneath the counter, look, we got an outlet, which means if you want to clutter this with appliances or charge your phone, it's gonna be possible. It's also insanely quiet in here, zero noise. And that makes sense, we're not facing the street. Well, we kind of are, but it's all the way over there. So if you want to live in a loud, annoying place, this isn't it. Peekaboo. <laughs> you guys have nice kitchens here. Look at that, double doors on the fridge. The cool zone. Your shirt matches the cool zone, did you know that? This is the only place that gets cold. The rest of it is just for storage. <laughs> <laughs> this says the whole thing's 37 degrees. Looks like a nice fridge. How's the water? Pretty good. And if you're making stuff over here, you can set it out over here. This is a big kitchen. And look at this, we got an outlet, an outlet, little lights shining down, cabinets everywhere. Very, very good design on this kitchen for sure. What'd you call these shelves? Is that like a pantry or a snack shelf? What is that? I would call this a bookshelf. All right, he's messing with me now. Look at that, it's pretty good. This is actually not a closet, but even that full-size water heater doesn't take up all the space in here. This could totally be storage. And we even have like a miniature foyer by the front door. After you come in, shoes, keys, just throw them all over here, who cares? It's got a nice bathroom too. Look, we've even got the um, auxiliary mirror. Wow, that is super distorted. This side of the cabinet is actually storage. And this is recessed with lighting. You can put stuff here. Great looking bathtub as well. If there are sacrifices here, I am not aware of what they are just yet. This is a true walk-in. There's shelving everywhere. And the bedroom is beautiful too. And from this window, that is the Empire State Building right there. How much does it open? Oh, I thought I was opening the bottom, but that's actually the top. This bedroom has plenty of room for a queen size bed, plus a dresser and a desk. It's also really sunny. That's a, that's a terrace. Dude, you can just live out here. 
It is a big space. You don't even have to live in the apartment. Welcome to the terrace. Is this cheaper than the other one because it's on a lower floor? This it, one is at 2,900. 29! And you can make this your second bedroom if you'd like. This is the entire thing right here. It's also a one bedroom apartment, but boy, if you don't rent this and you say, oh, I'd rather have a balcony, which was still nice, you're gonna be missing out on having a little above ground pool all to yourself, which is probably a waste of time since this building has a pool. Maybe like a couple tables, some umbrellas. Now we put some couches along the wall, a nice coffee table, an umbrella in the middle, and maybe even a small fire pit. Now the rest of this, it's pretty much a mirror image of the apartment that we were just in. Beautiful kitchen, it's the same. The only difference really is that crazy outdoor space. Bedroom is pretty much the same too. If you're gonna live in this building and one of these is available, definitely see it. It's quiet, it's bright, and this is just as nice as everything else in the building. Sixth floor. Oh, ooh, a staircase. We're lucky to see this apartment because someone already rented it. We're just painting it and getting it ready for the next tenant. The rent on this one is currently at $38.25. This is like a little loft? Second bedroom. With a second deck. Wow. Okay, now I know why this is the most money of what we've seen so far. Do all the penthouse, this is a penthouse, right? Okay. They all come with a private outdoor space. So it's not like this apartment was a one and done. There's others like this that will come up. Correct. Okay. Now a quick call back to that place on the first floor. That had about this much outdoor space. Thousand bucks less. But that view though. You can see the bridge. This is so big and so functional. So is this technically one of the bedrooms or is this like, it's like a, what, like a lofted? This is one of the bedrooms, but it can also be used as a home office. Okay, so it's like a convertible apartment. The cool thing about the staircase is it's like easy to walk on. So many of these spiral designs are just like an absolute train wreck, but I'm not even holding on. You feel perfectly safe on that thing. Is there anything else about this apartment that's different before we head to the next one? The living room is a drop bigger than most traditional. Okay, rooms. so it's slightly larger. Correct. Ooh. Dude, this is hot. I love that kitchen. How much is this? Two bed, two bath, $39.25. Functionality wise, I don't think you're gonna beat this. Too bad. Big windows, kitchen with an island right in the center of this massive living room. Got room for breakfast stools. And it's a pass through. That makes this really, really interesting just to look at. Plus, I think this one comes with a microwave. Outdoor terrace or microwave? I'm going with microwave. Use it every day, even in the winter. Dishwasher. The most ideal layout, in my opinion, that is correct. Thank you, sir. Same great balcony view. I'm never gonna get sick of that. These are some of those first floor apartments. Over there's the swing chair, the pool's actually in that building. You should just move in. And here I am paying four grand for a two bed, two bath in Brooklyn. Without a pool, he makes a persuasive point. Ah, the water heater. It has to go somewhere and we know it's full size. Mine's a half size. I hate you for showing me this. biggest bedroom in the building. This is the biggest bedroom. It is a king size bedroom and you can fit a dresser inside as well. Solid closet. Oh, look at this. Kind of like goes this way, but not that far. I saw this bathroom earlier and I was blown away. This is nice. The mirror is different. This side is still storage. Water pressure solid, big drawers. And we also have a big standing shower in here. Good size, rain shower head. I got no complaints about this. Now if you have a roommate and you get this room, they don't have to be sad because their room is almost the same. Here it is. This is the same size room all those apartments had that we saw. All those one bedrooms. Big closet. And look at this, it also has a second bathroom. So they can have this bathroom. You can have your bathroom, but theirs has the mirror and the tub, which makes this a pretty good place to share. Guys, make sure you hit up James. He showed me some pretty good stuff thus far, and uh, I'll be sure to make another appointment with him to see if he ruins it somehow. <laughs>